guys, what's up? This is Blaze the Movie Fan and it's time for another commentary video. This time I will be commentating on the Dark Commentator. Now before I begin, I'd just like to say that I consider the Dark Commentator to be a very good friend of mine. But just because you're a friend or I'm a fan of your content doesn't mean that I won't call you out when you make a bad video. If you make a bad video, I'll call you out on it regardless of if you're a friend of mine or not or if I like your videos or not. And the video I'm commenting on today is a very bad video full of very bad arguments. So without further ado, let's dive in. So do you guys remember Dustin Makes Vids? Well apparently Dylan Thomas ignored all the criticism given to him from multiple commentators on his straw man of a video and decided to basically continue his series of shit about multiple images. I think you misspoke here. None of what you're describing are things that Dylan Thomas did. But you know who did do those things? Dustin does with. My suggestion is next time you should preview the video and look for mistakes like that to make sure that they don't happen in the final product. Hello everybody, Dylan here. Now, I don't have a commentary in particular to hit today. Instead, what I'm going to be doing is making a little bit of a PSA. So if you guys can sit down, I'll get up on my soapbox and I'll tell you something that commentators have been doing lately that's been kind of peeving me off. Now, last year, actually not even last year, two years ago, a little trend happened called Black Borders Matter. Black Borders Matter was a nitpick that told commentators to stop putting black borders on their videos because it makes their videos look bad. And eventually it got so stupid that people forgot why it was enacted to begin with and why people were recommending for you to get rid of your black borders. It was so fucking dumb to where people thought that having a black background was bad or having a white background was bad. They just completely lost sight of what black borders meant. And for all the people that criticize Black Borders Matter, something new has arisen and I haven't really seen too many people complaining about it. Today we're going to be talking about this stupid one picture avatar complaint and let, let me just explain to you what that means real quickly. Now this complaint has come from the fact that some commentators have decided that they're just going to use one avatar pose the whole video and not change it or they just decide to have one photo throughout the whole video and they don't change it. Now what commentators are recommending people to do is they are saying that you should either go for the slideshow format where you have random Google images sliding across the screen with a moving background or you should do like my style where you get an artist to make avatars for you and the avatars express what mood you're showing and you can point and just a bunch of different things with an avatar. Now let me just tell you all why I personally recommend that people use more than one image. It is because one, one image can't portray emotions as good as multiple images can and two, one image doesn't show any movement and using multiple images can simulate movement and our eyes are attracted to movement. Alright, I read the article in the video description and I'm sorry to say, but it does nothing to debunk Dylan Thomas's points. Nor does it strengthen any of your points. The article is about how movements attract our eyes. And that has nothing to do with what Dylan Thomas is arguing. Also, I disagree. I don't think using multiple images counts as movement. You know what I see it as? I see it as nothing more than a slideshow of different images. You know what I do consider movement? What I am doing in this video right now. As you can see, my mouth is moving. Now that is proper movement. Now, I would say that this is useful advice if it wasn't for the fact of the people you are recommending to take this style, they have chosen to use one avatar by choice. They're not doing this out of laziness. They're not doing this because because they're ignorant they're not doing this because of anything else they've just decided that one image is good enough for them uh, except for chrome who admitted it was for his own convenience aka laziness i'm sorry but no doing something for your own convenience and being lazy are two totally different things people who only use one avatar in their videos aren't doing it because they don't feel like using more they do it because that's how they personally want their videos to be. That's not lazy in the slightest. Also to expand on my point, let's say for example that you're in a building with over 10 floors. Now which would you rather do? Walk to the 10th floor or take an elevator to the 10th floor? Most people will choose the fucking elevator and that's not because they're lazy. It's because it's far more convenient. And it's obviously the better option. And at the top of that, they're a lot fucking quicker to that floor that way. This is their editing choice, and you can think of it whatever you want to, but it's pointless to push your preferences on other people. This is just reminding me of the Black Borders Matter thing all over again. Their editing style shouldn't matter. If they're doing it on purpose, it shouldn't matter. Wait, what? That point was worded very weirdly. If they're doing it on purpose, it shouldn't matter? I mean, if they are doing something that will scientifically make the video not visually appealing, can they be called out then? I don't see anything wrong with Dylan Thomas's wording. I know exactly what he was trying to say. 
His point was that the argument someone brings up is far more important than how the video looks or sounds. And I think pointing it out is just an elitist nitpick. And I've seen some people actually looking down or just flat out insulting people that just use one image. One person I can think of is Acroloth. He was really driving it home that people use one image. Well, Acroloth, some people don't like just slapping up random Google images. Some of us just want to use one image and be done with it. I agree that sometimes people can go too far with the one picture avatar thing, but that doesn't change how putting in one image will hit your video visually. Now, you say, some people don't like to use images from Google Images. Well, what about Grady Underway? He had multiple images, and he just drew everything using MS Paint. Like if I'm eating out and my bill came to 48 pounds or 31 pence, I'll just leave 50 pound on the table. Or more realistically, I'd pretend like I forgot my wallet at home, and I'd hope my friend leaves 50 pound on the table. I'm sorry, but your example doesn't work. At the top of the fact that Great Andre isn't part of our commentary community, he isn't even a commentator. He makes rants and comedy sketches. That's a completely different style of video making than commentaries are. So the example is totally irrelevant to what Dylan Thomas is talking about since he is referring specifically to commentaries. More specifically of our community. And to address the some people just want to put in one image and be done with it. So you're going to sacrifice your video's visual appeal because you are too lazy to put in multiple images? And if you still want to be lazy as fuck, use gameplay footage. It makes your video engaging and requires minimal effort. I'm sorry, but in my honest opinion, using video game footage is the worst way to make discussion videos. Especially if what you're talking about is totally irrelevant to the video game at hand. The reason why I have a problem with it is because it's extremely fucking distracting and detract from the point that someone is trying to make. Especially if the video game in question is fucking awesome. Because the way that I see it is we should be focusing on what the person is saying, not the way the video is edited. I agree that points are more important than visuals, but does that mean we are not allowed to criticize how someone edits the visual aspect of their video? Alright, I will give you that. You never said that visuals are more important than the arguments. But you are still making such a big fucking deal out of the fact that people prefer using one avatar over many. I don't see how that's such a big deal to you. Whether someone uses one avatar or not does not detract from the points that someone is trying to make. And complaining about that is very pointless in my opinion. And if you really need proof of some commentators that do this that are big, we've got users like Sargon of Akkad that use one image constantly, Teal Deer who uses one image and is well known for it, Mr. Daverton who uses one avatar image with a moving background, Mr. Medicare who uses just one image, and sometimes even Armored Skeptic and Logic also just use one image in place of having different avatar poses and other random shit you can think of. Alright Dylan, most of those people that you mentioned are political commentators and they have to show a bunch of sources and everything so that kind of replaces the multiple images thing. Does the fact that they show evidence change the fact that they use one image in their videos? No it doesn't. So you're not debunking Dylan Thomas here. And you even said that guys like Dapper can use a moving background ergo having movement in this video. Although I will agree that it is visually appealing that there is animation in the background in the avatar of Mr. Dabberton's videos, it doesn't change the fact that he uses the same image throughout most of his videos. The fact that the background is animated doesn't change that. It shouldn't matter what picture a commentator is using as their avatar, it shouldn't matter what background they have, whether it be white or black, it shouldn't matter what way they choose to edit. This shouldn't be a problem we're talking about. And the fact that some people are trying to write it off saying, well, this creator is just being lazy. Well, lazy is a subjective thing. Wow, Dustin, you have a really good Dylan impression. It's a shame, though, that your points still suck. Laziness is not subjective in any way. The definition of lazy is unwilling to work or use energy. Please explain to me how the amount of effort or work someone puts into a video is subjective. And it is a fact that taking one image and dragging it across what you're saying takes less energy or effort to do than finding, downloading, and timing multiple images into your video. First of all, showing the definition of a word doesn't automatically make you right. 
And in this case, the only definition doesn't help your argument in the slightest. Now I already explained how the people who only use one image for their avatars aren't being lazy, so I'm not going over that again. Instead, I am going to say, yes, it is indeed subjective whether someone is being lazy or not. If it was an objective fact if someone was being lazy, nobody would be arguing with that, since so you cannot argue with facts. But the fact that a lot of people are indeed arguing about that proves that it is indeed subjective. You could say that I'm lazy for having one still image up, but in reality, I had to look for my background, and I had to pay my artist to make this art, and I had to get them to make the poses that I want to make. So, in the end, that cost me time and money. You have to find one background. I have to find 50 images per avatar folder, and I know people who sometimes put 100 images and more. It takes time to make multiple avatar folders, so that takes up my time. I'm sorry, but I don't buy that it takes you a lot of time and effort to download all these images and putting them in folders. I can easily download over 50 images from Google Images and DeviantArt and put them in folders, and that would take me 30 minutes at most, not even that. Go back to pointing out actual flaws in these people's arguments. That's what we should be focusing on. Flaws in people's arguments. Now who the fuck are you to tell the CC what they should and shouldn't do? If we want to criticize visuals as well as the argument, we damn well can. There's nothing that we should or need to do. If someone makes an entire video just pointing out visual errors, sure that's dumb, but I'm not going to sit there and say they can't do it. I may not think it's necessary, but who am I to tell you what you can and can't do? Hey Dustin, this is what it looks like when someone actually dictates others how to make videos. Sometimes telling people what to do is necessary in a commentary, and this is one of those times. And I'm sorry to say, but I completely agree with Dylan Thomas. It really is fucking pointless to complain about the fact that someone uses one image in their videos instead of many. I mean really now, why the hell does it matter? Now look, in a sense, I agree with you that visuals are important. If someone uses a shitty camera or a shitty microphone, then the visual aspects really are a major distraction from the video. But something like choosing to use only one avatar? Who fucking cares? Post dark here. Yeah, you probably could use my last interjections to say I shot myself in the foot, but here's the thing. I'm not saying that anyone has to use one image. I am saying that it would be better to use one image. So no, I didn't shoot myself in the foot. There's one problem that I have with this video that has been bugging me throughout. And that's the fact that you fix what you are saying with a text. Look, if you screw up on a wording, then do a fucking retake. It's really that simple. When I screw up on something that I'm trying to say, I always do a retake. The only times I don't do a retake is if I was at a place that I cannot access anymore, such as in my trip videos. But for the rest of my videos, I do a retake if I screw up on wording. I strongly suggest you do that more often. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. Like I said by the beginning of the video, I still consider you a friend. But I'm sorry, that doesn't change the fact that this commentary was fucking terrible. Your points were extremely fucking bad because of the reasons that they stated. Now is this as bad as your commentary on Sonic the Dark EX? Nope, this is better than that commentary, I will give you credit for that, but that still doesn't make it good. But on the plus side, most of your commentaries are pretty damn good. Now you are not a great commentator yet, but I think that you have potential of being a great commentator if you keep on improving. Well guys, you are the end of the video, thank you for watching, have a great day.